Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back to the second candle review of the day. I hope you're having a great afternoon. If you missed it a little bit earlier today, I uploaded my review of Homeworks Cinnamon Peach Latte. If you are at all curious about that scent, I will go ahead and link that review in the description box right below this video. I will also put a link to where you can purchase the candle that we are talking about today, which is Kringle Country Candle Peppermint and Cocoa. Um, I will also put a 15% discount code in the description box that you can utilize at Kringle. Now, I am actually filming this video on um, the day before it's going to be going up. And right now, the large jar of the peppermint and cocoa is on sale for $20, which is a screaming deal. <laughs> so... If you at all are drawn to this particular fragrance, it's on a really good sale right now. Now, I don't know if you can combine that 15% off on top of the current sale for this one, but the 15% will definitely come off anything else that you might pop into your cart that is not um, on this particular sale. So um, anyway, that discount code is just Melanie15. Again, it'll all be listed in the description box down below. So um, this currently is still available in, like I said, the large jar, the medium, the daylight, as well as the wax melts. And if you are new to Kringle Candle in general, I always encourage people if they are unsure about the fragrances themselves to either get started with the daylights or the wax melts. Um, it's definitely a must, much less expensive way to at least try some of the scents. And to be totally honest with you guys, when I am trying a new candle company myself, um, lately, instead of diving in with like full size candles, um, if they have the option for samples, I will totally opt for wax melts or, you know, if they have votives, um, I will opt for those first, see what I like, and then actually place orders for the full sized jars of, you know, whatever I'm interested in. So that is something really great that I think Kringle offers that is a little bit unique and really does allow people to kind of um, get introduced to the brand. Another thing that Kringle does have coming down the line are um, air fresheners. And um, I think that's gonna be, um, and you can just pop those in your car, obviously. I think those are also gonna be a really great, more inexpensive way to try some of these scents um, without uh, you know, the commitment of a large jar. Because I tell you what, <laughs> These are a slightly slower burning candle. They are 100% soy. Um, and I do find that personally for me, soy, uh, especially 100% soy, does tend to burn um, slower than certain other types of, um, you know, candle formulations. So let's go ahead and go through the scent description here as well as all of the fragrance notes. We'll talk strength and throw. Um, and we'll just kind of round it out with the overall quality of the burn because I do think that it is still a little bit in flux with some of these country candle jars. So I will address that. Um, and before we get into the description, I do wanna let you know right now that really peppermint is not in my wheelhouse of like most loved fragrances. <laughs> By nature, I am not like a peppermint or mint lover in general, be it spearmint, peppermint, whatever mint. Um, I don't mind a nice peppermint tea, but in terms of peppermint in home fragrance, it just comes across as really like aggressive to my nose sometimes and almost, I would say, borderline kind of headache inducing. But I do really love chocolate scents. So I'm actually a little bit torn on this one in a way, but it's still, you know, not typically the type of fragrance that I gravitate towards. So it's interesting for me to try to review fragrances that really aren't something that I personally love, but I think it, it is a good challenge for me to approach it from a more um, objective um, point of view. So peppermint and hot cocoa. A heart of praline cream and vanilla is accompanied by fresh crushed peppermint and chocolate minted woods. Your top notes here are crushed peppermint and chocolate morsels. The mid notes are praline cream and vanilla bean. The base is minted woods, whipped cream, and musk. So 
Um, let's go ahead and talk about kind of what hits me first in this particular fragrance. Um, honestly, I feel like this smells almost exactly like the peppermint hot chocolate that my daughter Stella asks me for whenever we go to Starbucks around the holidays. Um, I really do think that this is a very authentic peppermint hot cocoa scent. You smell that fresh crushed peppermint. It literally smells like the candy cane that you see on the label here. It smells like one of those crushed up and then sprinkled into a cup of steaming, creamy hot chocolate. Um, and I even feel like I get a touch of that like whipped cream note in there as well. It's, it's very, very authentic. And if you are a hot chocolate lover, um, I think you're really gonna enjoy this one. You're definitely getting the peppermint with it. Um, and as long as you're good with that peppermint note, I can tell you that the hot chocolate portion of this is delightful. I don't think it's overly sweet. I don't think it really comes across as cloying. I think it's just really authentic. <laughs> it just smells like a real cup of peppermint hot chocolate. And if that is your vibe, this is absolutely the fragrance for you. Um, the one thing that I would say that I really don't detect in here is that praline cream note. I would actually love to pick that up because I do think that it might, a little bit more creaminess to this, I think might tone down the peppermint a touch more. And for me as a non-peppermint lover myself, um, I, I would personally enjoy toning down that peppermint a little bit more. But I feel like at that point, it might turn into something where you, if you are a peppermint lover, you might be disappointed by that. So for me, this is really just kind of, I would say like 45% hot cocoa, 45% that crushed peppermint, and then the remainder being that kind of creamy or like whipped cream type note at the top. It is lovely for what it is. And like I said, if you're going for authenticity, I really think you're gonna get it here. Um, so if this is you, uh, if you love this type of scent, I would say feel confident in ordering this one. You are going to get exactly what you are looking for with this fragrance. In terms of the strength and throw. So this one I would say is actually one of the strongest performers in terms of strength and throw that I have experienced from the Country Candle line, at least when it comes to these holiday releases. This one here, I'm gonna put the strength for me at like almost an eight. It is quite strong. Um, and because it is so strong, I do think it has quite a bit of like throw behind it as well. Um, I actually have mostly been burning this one in my dining room. I talk a lot about um, candles that I don't really want to like intermingle with other fragrances. I will often put them in my dining room because this is a little bit of like a dead zone in terms of creating flow, uh, airflow. Um, I just find that anything that I put in this room fragrances this area beautifully. And if you've watched my Decorate With Me series, you've seen kind of all angles of this dining room here. Um, if you're curious, uh, I will go ahead and link my uh, Christmas dining room, like Decorate With Me video that I did not long ago. It'll give you a, a, a little bit more of a sense of like the shape of this room. Um, the entrances into this room because there are two. There's a smaller entrance in the corner where there's a butler's pantry that leads to the kitchen. And then there's a slightly larger entrance um, off to actually just the side right here where it uh, fragrance does, if, if it can, if it can get out of here, it'll go through that opening right there and then that leads into our entry. Sorry, that was really awkward. Bear with me as I readjust here. 
So, um, but because of the kind of lack of real airflow in this room, it, even though I do have that opening right off to the side there, it does smell a little bit like hot cocoa and peppermint in the hallway, but not a whole lot. So um, this has been perfect for me here in the dining room because when I want a whiff of this, I know that I can walk in here and it really does like, it does hit me in the face. <laughs> It's, it's quite powerful in here, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and put the throw number at like, I don't know, I'm gonna go ahead and put it at like a seven. Um, I should have probably tried this in a few other areas of the house, but like I said, because this isn't really in my wheelhouse, and I didn't find that this for me, just for my personal taste, it didn't really blend with anything else that I had going at the time. It just didn't make sense for me to like really move this around, but um, I think this is a solid, like, m higher than medium performance for me from Country Candle. Um, I will say, the first couple burns, the mushroom tops got pretty large, um, and it kind of made, I wouldn't say it made for a messy burn, because you can see here, there's no, like, sooting or anything like that. Not messy in that respect, but just where I could see like a few puffs of like smoke coming up every now and then. And the wicks just didn't look very pretty. They kind of like did this like curling, sorry I'm using my fingers, but that's the example that I have right now. They did kind of this like curling thing. And so that mushroom top at the top here would then also like kind of start to fall apart at times. And then I would get like the little carbon balls into the wax that I would have to dig out. Um, just because I don't love the way that that looks. I do dig them out usually. So um, the particular wicks that are used here, I think maybe aren't necessarily the best fit. I do think they probably help to amp up the strength and throw. And now that I have um, had the opportunity to create my own candle with Kringle, I do know that there is a big difference between certain sizes of wicks and how they interact with not only the wax formula, but also the fragrance oils that are used within that wax as well. So it, it really is like a very delicate balance. And I think Kringle and other candle companies kind of try their best to like, you know, find that balance, but sometimes, you know, it, it doesn't necessarily look the prettiest so keep that in mind i will say now that i am um, at the halfway point of this candle and i'm just gonna like turn her around here again so that you can really see how far down i've gone here but you uh, i did trim these wicks ever so slightly uh but they no longer are forming those like super wicked mushroom tops anymore so um there's that but I do still, I, I'm finding a really solid flame here now at this point. Um, I leave this one lit typically for about three or four hours at a time. And after that, I will definitely blow it out. Um, but it's it's been a good performer for what it is. Is it the type of scent that I personally love? No, but that being said, like, you know, the fragrance world does not revolve around me. There are a lot of people out there who love peppermint and cocoa. And if that's you, I think you're really going to enjoy this one. I find it to be insanely authentic. It smells like the real thing. It's delicious for what it is. My kid loves it, but she loves peppermint hot cocos. So, um, yeah, I mean, if we're taking Stella's word, it's the real deal, it smells good, she loves it, and um, the reason that I do keep burning it is because my, my kid does love it. So she's actually gonna be home from school here in a little while, which is why I currently have this one lit. So when she walks in the door, she will be greeted by something that she really enjoys. <laughs> I've also been burning the root beer candle for her. Um, if, you, uh, if you missed it, I did upload my thoughts on Kringle Reindeer Beer, which again, not in my wheelhouse, but my kid loves root beer. And so, you know, when she's been craving that, like we've been lighting that candle up for her and she's really been enjoying it. So um, anyway, I am gonna give this one definitely a thumbs up for its authenticity. I'm not giving it two thumbs up because it's not in my wheelhouse, but overall, it's a great performing candle. Um, just watch those wicks for the first few burns, keep them trimmed, and I think you'll do quite well with this one. So. Thumbs up, good job Kringle, and stay tuned for one more review a little bit later on today. It is of another um, country candle fragrance, so if you're interested in that, make sure that you are subscribed. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful, and you can find all the information about where to find this candle 
and the discount code in the description box down below. I appreciate you guys so much. Thanks for being here and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.